Nina, Code One Wad, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Psalm 60 this time. And I'm looking at verse 2. Psalm 60, verse 2. You have made the earth tremble, you have broken it. Heal its breaches, for it is shaking. And that made me think of like the global mission movement. Like, you know how a lot of Christians, some of them will dedicate their lives to leave their country, go on onto the mission field, be missionaries, and they're trying to win other people for Jesus, right? And just reading this verse, I was just like, yeah. I mean, there are many things in this world that are bad, that are messed up, and God needs to break those things. But God also, once he destroys the bad stuff, he wants to replace it with good stuff. And rather than destroying bad people, he'd rather convert them, heal them, make them good people. God has a mind and a heart for the entire world. When God sent his only begotten son into the world, it was for the whole world. It wasn't just for Israel and the Jews. It also wasn't just for Rome and the Gentiles. And nowadays, it's not just for the United States or England or South Korea, where the biggest church in the world is. God's heart is for every part of the world. For, like, I was like, like, the countries in Africa that are still very tribal, the countries in the Middle East that are very, very Muslim, and some even terrorists supporting. God loves all of those people. He loves all of those people. He wants all of them to get saved. There will come a day of reckoning where people who do not repent and people who do not accept him as Lord and Savior, they will meet an eternal judgment in hell and they will be eternally destroyed. God would rather not do that. He would rather save them. He would rather heal the breaches. He'd rather have them broken now and be healed in the middle of all the shaking and violence of the world. He'd rather do that than watch them ultimately perish one day. It was just it was a really good reminder to me to have a heart outside of my community, to be mindful of the greater picture of the bigger world around me. It's not just me. It's not just America and all, all that, all the stuff that comes with that. There's a lot of good stuff that comes with America. I like where I live. I like my country. I'm glad I'm a citizen here. But God's focus isn't just on America. This isn't, this isn't like the Christian nation of the world. We're the best. No one will ever be like us. It's not like that. We're one people. We're one group that God died for. We're one. There are hundreds of people groups and ethnicities and languages and nations, cities, cultures that Jesus loves and died for. And we just need to be mindful of that bigger picture as we go on throughout our day. So if I could just encourage you, you know, maybe, I'm not saying, you know, sell all your stuff and go to a foreign country, but Maybe look up an article online. You know, type in, you know, prayer request for, and then, you know, fill in the nation. You know, uh, Japan, uh, Sweden, France, uh, Kenya, South Africa, Uganda, Brazil, um, Portugal, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq. Um, especially in the middle of some of the things that have happened recently and unfortunately will continue to happen due to terrorism and due to Islam. Please remember that as much as I despise what those people do and what they stand for, God does love them. He does want to heal them. The time of judgment's coming. He would rather them be saved and become Christian rather than destroy them in the end. He loves those people. Maybe that's a group of people that you need to pray for. Heck, maybe it's a group of people that I need to keep in mind to pray for. It's a lot harder to hate people when you're praying for them and you're reminded of the price that Jesus paid, not just for you and your group, but for them and their group as well. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.